Hello, I'm Deaconess London with your word of wisdom for today. And I'm looking at the account in Genesis chapter 32 concerning Jacob when he wrestled with the angel of God and he demanded a blessing. Hallelujah. The scripture also said the sun was rising on Jacob when he left Peniel and he was limping because of the injury to his hip. Jacob wrestled with God and never gave up because he knew he cheated his brother out of his blessing. So he brought all his anger and anguish to the fight. Jacob wrestled with God all night because he was determined that he will not let go until God blessed him. God honored his struggle and indeed blessed Jacob. He said, you shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have striven with God and prevailed. God wants us to prevail also, but also know that the struggle is an integral part of the blessing. Hallelujah. The spiritual journey is fraught with struggles and we are tempted to give up. But Jacob did not give up and neither should we. He said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And in that struggle, Jacob grew in stature before God. He grew into a man whom God could now entrust with his vocation to be Israel, the father of a nation. Jacob came out of the encounter with God, a new man. He had a new name which signified a new self. A man who has seen the face of God and is still lives now ready for his new vocation. Glory be to God. But Jacob came out of this encounter with something else, a limp. The angel struck him on his hip socket and Jacob's hip was put out of joint. Because in our deep desire to be drawn near to God, we will be wounded. The limp did not diminish Jacob. It became a sign of his encounter with God and of the blessing he received. All of us have struggled with God. We all have our own limp. The sign of our struggle, the things we have been through, a sign of our vulnerability and our growth. Our limp is not a sign of weakness, but a sign of what we have overcome and what God has done for us. We can reflect on our own spiritual journey, the joys and the blessings, as well as the wounds, as we struggle to live our life with honesty and integrity. Believers, be encouraged that when we get to heaven, God will recognize us by our achievements, our gifts and talents, and also by our limp. Be blessed. Your limp is not a sign of weakness. <laughs>